Women never, ever, ever lie. Never do they lie. She showed you her red flags from day one. You chose to ignore them. I might show it by simply by how she dresses. And she might show you that she might be provocative. Or she might show you with her sexual behavior. She might show you through how she is as a parent. She might not have kids and not prioritize them. Or she may have denied another man access to the children. And you think you're going to be captain stepdad and you're going to save the day. But the reality is she showed you that she denies men access to the children. And myself included, we show men all of our red flags. Now we pick the man that allows us to get away with the most nonsense. Now, if you don't have many red flags as a woman, what will happen is you attract a man with really clear boundaries. But a woman filled with red flags will only select a man who's filled with low self-esteem. Wow, you? you are gorgeous. Thank you, you look good too. Yeah, so you, where are we eating? I wasn't going to tell you, it's a surprise. Okay. Nice I mean, one. it better be five-star and up, so... Five-star? Dang. It's what like that. Mean? You don't like Applebee's or nothing? I mean, I'm not saying I'm Apple taking bees. you there, but... Yeah. Um, I'm not giving Applebee's, honey. Damn. Oh, you bougie. We should have just met wherever you wanted to eat at. You know what I'm saying? You got a car? No, what? Yeah, no. That's weird. You bougie for a girl with no car. Excuse you? I'm saying, so where you want to go? I mean... Like I said, five star, five star up, mm. shoot, Michelin star. Come on now. I respect First date, show it. up. Show up. I like that. Ah, oh, my freaking tire. What? I think my tire flat. Uh uh. I can't leave with no guy that got. Can you that check that? Got that car together. Oh, I'm sorry about that, man. Can you check what that for me, mean? please? What do you mean? What do I look like? By the no. Oh my god. Damn, my bad. This is exactly why I can't be dealing with your mom. Nah, no, that's up. a fact. Got your damn. The woman in the first video clip is right. Women do not lie. Within one week to two months, most women will show you who they are. The problem is that when we men are young, we do not realize what we are hearing and what we are seeing. The other problem is that most nice guys or good men are problem solvers. We think we can come to an understanding, a compromise. These types of women take advantage of both of these things. The biggest problem is that sex blinds us men. If we are having sex with the girl, we men have a tendency to overlook many red flags or make excuses for bad behavior. Only when we get older and have more experience with women is when sex stops blinding us men. The biggest red flag is if you have to try and keep figuring out what is going on in the relationship, and have to do this during any time in the relationship. Then it is time to run and never look back. Eva, which was my only bad breakup, was nothing but red flags when we started seeing each other. With her, I was young, so I did not recognize what I was hearing. When we started to see one another, she was the greatest girlfriend I ever had. But this only lasted for about two weeks. Then in week three, her actions, her behavior made me want to end the relationship. So, I tried to end the relationship. But she begged me not to and said things would get better. Things got better for about two weeks, but not as good as they were before. What I did not realize at the time was that she was testing me. Trying to see what she can get away with. All during this time, I was trying to figure out what was going on. Things would be good, then bad, then good, and so on. If you are in a relationship, and things are like a roller coaster. Meaning good then bad. Up and then down. Or she is hot and then cold. Like a girl I dated named Charlene. Who acted like she was into me, but then would disappear. You need to run and never look back. Some of the girls that I ended the relationship with. Years later, thinking we are both older. Thus, we both should be wiser, smarter, and more mature. I ran back into them, and took them out on a date. After the date, I said to myself, I was right the first time. So I never called. We never had a second date. I just kept walking. One of the girls was named Mary. And a few weeks after Mary and I went on a date. I ran into her sister. Her sister indicated that Mary was upset that I never called. Then a few months after this, I ran into Mary again. And all Mary could do was give me a furious look. I said to hell with this and walked away, and never saw Mary again. Mary and I dated in high school. Her father was from Mexico, and her mother was from Poland. Mary was blonde, with green eyes and all of that stuff, so she is used to men pursuing her. When I took Mary on a date, I was 24 years old. So now I was more experienced when it came to women. I had dated other women who were just as pretty as Mary. And many of them treated me better. They would call me and let me know they were interested in me. If Mary could not meet me halfway, could not call me, then I wanted nothing to do with it. I was not going to get into a one-sided relationship. 
where almost everything is about her. Because the fundamental nature of men is to take care of the family, we fall into this trap. The trap of where we marry a very selfish woman. We marry a woman who believes that if she is a stay-at-home mother, where when you come home from work, you should cook dinner and help clean the house. Your relationship or marriage will mostly be about trying to fulfill her wishes, or her desires. Not her needs, but her wishes or desires. More than a few of my happily married female friends told me to have marriage counseling before I get married. Marriage counseling lets her know what you expect in a marriage, and it also lets you know what she expects in a marriage. My female friend named Edie had marriage counseling at her synagogue. I have known her since we were nine years old. In the 1980s, she was on the feminist path. However, after her and Jimmy got married, she became a stay-at-home mother. She always had the house clean, and dinner cooked and ready when Jimmy got home from work. Edie's mother was married and divorced three times. And her mother had children by two of these men. Each man was richer than the last. So her mother was very beautiful when she was young. Blonde hair, blue eyes, and a smoking body. And Edie inherited her mother's looks.